All right, so Tamaz. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Yes. Appreciate so you actually, you actually made a video that I was going to play here, uh, 30 seconds. You posted it on LinkedIn. Yes, sir. Yeah, I did. And if it hadn't been for this, which I think is on sale, uh, it's for sale, I think if it hadn't been for that, then this thing would have came down and I would have played your video. I think that's actually a better idea, yes. That is, that is. Yes, yes, for sure. So, Tomas, um, tell me a little bit about, like, what, what was it that caused you to, you know, do the things you do on LinkedIn in terms of um, putting yourself out there, like, branding? So before I do that, I want to thank thank you so much for having me. You, Katie, Marissa, she couldn't be here because of the emergency in the family. But how about a shout out for Kyle, uh, Katie, Marissa for putting this together. Uh, so your question was pertaining to why did I started to post content on LinkedIn, correct? Yes. Um, I think, you know, my background, I'm an immigrant. I'm originally from Poland. Uh, I came here about... 13 years ago by myself to pursue a better, better quality of life. You know, I was a former athlete, played basketball. Uh, so, so the journey as an immigrant always forced me to really learn and adapt to new environments, new cultures, learn uh, different things on the fly. Uh, and as a result of which, uh, you know, I became a student, I think a student of people, student of um, human behavior. Um, I always say that even though people don't believe me, but that's really what I'm doing. I, I study people, I listen. Um, and, and, and try to understand what I should be doing and diversify my expertise uh, so that way I become uh, a more versatile of a professional. Because if I was just a banker, I mean, there's, you know, we have CPAs, we have lawyers, we have bankers. The, the industry, financial services industry is very saturated. So you have to do something to, to, to really provide a different um, value proposition that is refreshing, that is something that that is applicable to, to what we do today. So that's originally why I started posting. Yeah, no, that's, that's great. And for you, like, I know, I know talking to you because I know you personally, it's just about making an impact, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I think it's, it's um, any, any one, of, uh, one of us, anybody in the room here can make an impact in some shape or form. You just have to identify, uh, you know, what really drives you, what's your purpose, what are your objectives and, and, and how uh, can you make that impact and where you want to direct it? What, you, what, what would you like uh, uh, for your audience to be to receive that impact, right? Like my, one of my biggest passions is philanthropy. Um, I'm fortunate enough to, to serve on um, some, some local nonprofits here. Um, and that's, you know, I don't have any extended uh, family here outside of my fiance who is in the audience, uh, my honey Ash Ashley here. But, uh, you know, my, my whole family is in Poland. Uh, so, so, you know, nonprofits become family, the community becomes family, the kids, boys and girls clubs uh, become family. So, so that's, that's my purpose, that's my fulfillment, is giving back and just, you know, passing the torch forward. Yeah, no, exactly, man. And let's talk about this. I know we didn't re rehearse this or anything, but I'm going to go deep really, really, oh, please, really, please. really, really early. Go ahead, go so, ahead. Because I know your story, and I know it was just like crazy to me when you told me, you know, the, house, the, the struggle of like, First of all, getting here to the United States, and then the just you know the struggles you went through to stay here, and you know I, you know I, I told you when we first met. I mean, you know I've, I've, I'm someone that's born here, I've lived here, my whole life. And I, I kind of look at to you as like, man, like that that gives you this like drive and this hunger that uh, I wish a lot of us that like were naturally born here just like had. Some of us do, but like it's just a little extra, right? Can you talk about that? No, absolutely. You know, I appreciate you uh, mentioning that. I think. You know, the journey as an immigrant is certainly not always peaches and cream. Uh, if you've been fortunate to have bo been uh, born in this country, I hope you appreciate the gift that you have of living and working and making an impact in your local communities. Um, you know, I came here and, and it was challenging, um, you know, but I think the adversity that you face builds you as a person, as a professional, and, and I think that's what happened to me. Like I see um, athleticism and entrepreneurship and business Striving forward, like it's all related, it's all relatable, right? So, so tell us about like how you came to be in the role that you are now with Lance Capital. Yes, so I was, uh, you know, my, my professional uh, career is, has been very diverse because of my different experiences. Obviously, as an immigrant, um, I've spent some time uh, in consulting and higher education. I also sold uh, software uh, in oil and gas industry, and then I, the last three years I spent uh, in the bank. 
I would just say that, you know, life happened. Um, you know, I've been blessed with a lot of people that helped me, um, a lot of mentors, a lot of support system that really uh, guides me and, 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 and um, you know, supports me. And, and some doors were able, were, I was fortunate, some doors were open, opening for me, I guess, at the right time. And, and they were looking for someone to bring to Frisco, um, you know, to really help uh, expand their brand, um, expand their geographical footprint. Um, you know, put us on a map from a, from a, from a commercial banking perspective. So, so uh, my role pertains to being basically a single point of contact for any commercial needs, where it's deposits, where it's loans, whether it's, you know, wealth opportunities. Um, but, you know, I know I can't do everything myself. Obviously, it's, it's a team uh, collectively that we do it as a unit. But uh, we had a great fortune to be in this community for, for, for a long, long time. And, and obviously it's thriving and, and um, yeah, we're just, we're just thankful because a lot of banks are making their moves up here now to, to Cullen County and expanding, build their new, their new um, offices. And, and we could say that we have been here for a while and we're a little more established, I would say. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. And um, so like banks there, you know, what, what is, what is like the number one challenge about being a, you know, a guy that's, a guy that works at a bank, who is also trying to build yourself up out there on social media. Like, I know you can't say a lot. You can't get financial advice. You can't even mention the word money. Like, and like, how do you, like, what's your goal on social media? Like, how do you actually get clients out of that? Like, what is your end game now? So, so, so that's a very good question. Uh, you know, when I, when I started working uh, at Plains, I've, I have used LinkedIn actually for, LinkedIn specifically, because I feel like a lot of us came here because of the platform is, is extremely rewarding when you see people that you connect with and then you can see them in person and build even stronger relationships. Um, but, you know, when I started working for the bank, um, you know, I didn't realize how, how difficult it was to really do something on social media because you deal with certain regulations and compliance. So you have to understand uh, the do's, the don'ts, you know, how to do things in the best interest for the organization but yet don't put the organization in any jeopardy or, or, you know, basically any risk, right? So, so I consciously, you know, educated myself on the process and try to understand what I can, what I cannot do. Talk to some friends that work for, uh, that are regulators, that work in compliance, try to figure out, okay, what can I actually do? So I decided remove, to remove banking completely out of the equation because I didn't want to put my organization at risk, right? At the end of the day, this is who I work for. Uh, I'm very thankful that they gave me this opportunity, but at the same time, I want to also differentiate our, um, you know, our, our sales strategy and how we get out there in the community. So I think by, by being truly who I am um, and, and, and you know, talking about things like sales, like marketing, like networking, like philanthropy, uh, psychology, things that are really are passionate for me, I'm very passionate about those topics. And, and I, I genuinely believe I actually know something about it because I've been through different things and studied those fields. So it's not like I'm just blowing smoke, but I, I, I do believe that I'm a practitioner in that regard. As a result of which, I think you can, um, you know, find people that relate with that message and, and that audience and then community is being built and you engage and everything else that, that, I, that I think people here are trying to accomplish as well. Um, you know, I, I, on the spot. no, on the spot, no, it, I feel like that's a, that's a terrific question. Um, lately I feel like, and Ashley knows about it. We had these conversations a lot. I love doing sales. I love doing networking. Uh, that comes naturally to me. That's just something, you know, I, I'm blessed to, to have height, uh, to come from a place that is not America. So I feel like that you, gives you a, a competitive and advantage as long as it's utilized in a genuine fashion. Um, but I feel like the more I touch people's lives, the more uh, I can bring impact to their lives, help them get a job, <clears throat> um, you know, get them uh, out of the difficult situation. Um, I'm, I think I'm an agent of impact. I want to see a progression. I want to inspire, motivate, uh, activate something in, in, a, in, a, in a human's mind that perhaps has not taken place before. So that's really what drives me. And, and and to me, it's a bigger success when, when we connect as two humans. To me, that's a bigger success than a sales win, you know, because at the end of the day, it's a transaction. 
yes, perhaps it was based on the relationship building component uh, because that's what we strive to do, obviously, uh, build relationships first and then obviously do deals. However, um, you know, when you make an impact on somebody's life, to me, that's the biggest success story uh, that you can have. Um, any questions? I just want to open it up. I mean, if you guys have any questions uh, to make it more interactive, not just like it's just two, two of us talking, but yeah, thank you so much for guys, coming out. Yeah. This guy is downplaying it, um, as a lot of us do, but um, <laughs> check out his podcast. He started a podcast that's available everywhere. Uh, and it, the whole point of your podcast is just to get out there and record the interesting conversation that you're already having anyway. You know, I, like, like I said at the beginning, I'm a student of people's work and, and, and I study human behavior. And, and by trial and error, I'd identify in an area that really brings me a lot of joy. Um, and a lot of our mutual friends, uh, not only us, but some of the friends that could make it here or are here today, they teach you a lot of things. And I just try to execute and, and determine what I can do best that brings the value uh, you know, for the betterment of the community. The question was, um, if you were just graduating college right now, yeah. uh, what would your one piece of advice be? Uh, I don't know if I should give you advice because this man already has an app like in iPhone and you know it's called Surfboard by the way you guys can download it and he can probably tell you more about it later. He, he's extremely accomplished way ahead of the game. Um, inspiring stuff that motivates me as well to, to learn something new. Uh, so I appreciate our friendship. One advice I would say try new things, test. Um, don't just stick to your daily job that you are forced that you you have a job already that you have in college right like you've de you've been developing an app but just just uh try new things test if you fail doesn't matter just move on ignore the ignore the noise ignore, ignore the surroundings don't pay attention to social media stuff uh just focus on on your mission on your goal on your purpose and execute thank you appreciate it yeah thank you a any other questions all right well hey thanks so much no, thank you brother Thank you. Thank you.